Hey, what's up? This is Michael Locke with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So I'm going to walk you through or just sort of review how you go about recording a screen video demo or screencast or a web uh, webcast or web tutorial video such as the one that you're watching. This is done really easily. Anyone can do this and it's done uh, using, you can do, there's two tools out there that I would recommend that you go and check out in order to do something like this and uh, I'll get to the value of, of why you can or what you can use this for in a little bit but for now let's just talk about the products uh, Camtasia Studio is the product that I use and you can go to their website which is techsmith.com forward slash camtasia.asp if you go there or just go to techsmith.com and, and look under products and Camtasia Studio is the one you want to go with but this is this is the one. The product is three hundred dollars, two ninety nine for a license. But you, there's a thirty day free trial that you can use and test it out. And it's fairly easy. The learning curve on this is is really easy. It's like um, using PowerPoint or something like that. There's probably like a thirty minute learning curve um, for when you first start using this product. And uh, under an hour, you, you you might be able to. I would say under say two hours of, of testing this out you probably would be an expert in using this tool that's how easy it is but um, so that's one Camtasia Studio is what I normally use it's very powerful because it allows you to edit add audio um, cut out and slice different pieces out you know like if you mess up like if um, there's dogs barking in the background you can kind of go in and kind of minimize the volume on the, the actual barking of you know that actual portion of the video so it's fairly, it's really powerful, it's useful, and um, it's easy to use, and it's fairly inexpensive. I mean, 300 bucks is, is a nice price, but uh, for what you can do with it, uh, you can do wonders, you know. But um, So that's that's Camtasia Studio. The other one is Screener, and it's uh, S-C-R-E-E-N-R, screener.com. And screener.com is a, is a website that allows you to do record screencasts as well. And it's fairly easy. It's cheap. It's, it's free. <laughs> and um, it allows you to do screencasts right now. At the moment, you can't really do too much with it. You can record your screen. You can record different sizes of your screen, different resolutions. But you can't do a lot of editing and different things like that. So um, it's not as powerful as Camtasia Studio. Now, Camtasia Studio is what I use for all my videos. If you've ever been to um, my YouTube channel, uh, you can you can browse around my YouTube channel, and um, you can see I have a lot of videos here. Where um, these different videos you see with the screens here, they're all done using uh, Camtasia Studio, and they're edited through Camtasia Studio and basically they're done under seven minutes and uh, it takes me about seven minutes, seven to ten minutes to do a video or to just record a screen and then I slice it up in Camtasia Studio which takes about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes and then uh, publish it and that takes about 10 minutes. Um, it just it just sort of uh, compresses the video and it, it, it uh, creates a, um, a, a video file for you and then from there you can then take it to any type of site like YouTube, you know, Vidler, you know, Vimeo, uh, Blip TV, Blip.tv is a new one that I'm just starting to use. But um, you know, record your videos, and you, you know, it also supports HD quality, so you can use uh, Camtasia for that. Now, I use demos. Demos, I mean, the the um, recording video demos are useful for many purposes. You can, you know, start a training. Um, sort of a website where you start you can show people how to use you know PC or Mac you know you can if you're familiar with a particular software you can start a uh, tutorial uh, site where you can show people how to do things like that um, for web designers you know you can also use it for showing uh, your portfolio purpose you know your portfolio um, you can pull up a website that you've done and sort of walk your employer or potential employer or potential client through different websites that you've done and um, show them through a screencast video. You know, it's very popular. It's a bit more engaging than just a flat screenshot. And I've seen this. I've seen this become more popular lately, where um, designers would um, actually walk um, walk people through what they've done and um, 
it would allow you know the potential employee employer to actually see oh, okay more of um, more of the style that they use um, uh, JavaScript you know jQuery Flash or anything like that that's that's moving that has moving parts to it um, you know uh, the, the screencast allows you to do that the other thing is if you're say entrepreneur and you have a website and you you're wanting to get someone to your visitors to sign up to you know uh, for something you can create a short video and walk them through clicking on the button and then walk them through signing up you know on your form and then just show them how easy it is to do and uh, that's it it could take could be a one minute video f a five minute video you know it's up to you uh, but uh, the point is it's very useful it's very uh, the type of video that you use or you know whether it's a scripted uh, promotional video or a, a non-scripted tutorial you know walkthroughs such as this that you're watching now uh, it's totally up to you and uh, but the 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 value of, of creating video and how easy it is now that you can create videos with these these tools such as Camtasia Studio and Screener is is amazing so I recommend checking out screen or Camtasia Studio or Screener and then start thinking of different ways you can do and different um, different creative things you can do with it uh, and um, you know get started you're recording screen videos and screen demos and screencasts. All right. So just wanted to walk you through a couple of those tools. And um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com. Don't forget, subscribe to my blog for more uh, tips, tricks, ideas, and thoughts that I have in web design, branding, marketing, and uh, just business. All right. We'll talk soon. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.